You're watching Practical AI. We've already installed Olama, explored prompt basics, and learned key Olama commands. Now, let's connect it to Python. In five minutes, you'll install Python, set up a clean workspace, write a tiny script, and print model responses in your terminal. In this video, we'll follow a simple path. First, check that Olama is set up correctly. Make sure a model like Llama 3.2 is pulled and that the Olama server is running. Then, install or update Python. After that, we'll create a clean workspace with a virtual environment, which is an isolated folder that keeps your project's Python packages separate. Finally, we'll write a short script that sends a prompt to the model and prints the response in the terminal. Before coding, make sure you have pulled a model and started the Olama server. I'll use Llama 3.2 in this demo. In a moment, I'll also explain what server, client, and localhost actually mean. So, make sure the model is downloaded. Then, start the Olama server. Next, check if Python is already installed. If you see a version number, make sure it's Python 3.10 or newer. Download the latest installer from python.org. On Ubuntu or Debian Linux, sudo apt install python3. Next, let's create a clean workspace with a virtual environment. A virtual environment is an isolated folder that contains its own Python and packages, so your project doesn't interfere with others. Create a new directory or folder named olama-python-demo. Move into that directory. Tell Python to use the built-in venv module to create a virtual environment, and name it .my-venv. Run the activate script to switch your terminal into the virtual environment, so any pip install and any Python commands apply only inside this project. So the command python3-mvenv.my-venv creates a new virtual environment in a folder called .my-venv. The command source.my-venv slash bin slash activate switches your terminal into that environment, so installs and scripts stay inside this project. Now install the official Olama Python client, the Olama package. This is what lets your script talk to the Olama server. So, pip install Olama. In this setup, there are two parts, the server and the client. The server is Olama. It runs locally, on your machine, loads the model, and waits for requests. The client is your Python script. It sends prompts and prints responses. When you see localhost 11434, the client is talking to your own computer, not the internet. Localhost always points back to your machine. 11434 is the port where the Olama server listens. I recommend using VS Code, but you can also use any text editor. Now let's write our first Python script. I'll start by importing the client from the Olama library. From Olama, import client. Next, I'll set the model name. Here, I'll use model equals llama 3.2. You can change this if you've pulled a different model. Now I'll create a client object pointing it at the Olama server running locally on port 11434. Client equals client, host equals localhost 11434. We'll keep it simple. I'll ask the user for a prompt using Python's input function. Prompt equals input, enter your prompt. Then I'll print the prompt back so we can see what we typed. Print f newline dash prompt dash newline prompt newline. Finally, I'll send the prompt to the model and receive response in the res variable. Res equals client dot generate, model equals model, prompt equals prompt. And then print the response. Print dash response dash print response from res. Save this as app.py. Then in the terminal, run it with python app.py. Let's quickly recap. We checked that Olama is installed and running with a model pulled. We installed or updated Python. We created a clean workspace with a virtual environment. Then we installed the Olama Python client and wrote a short script. That's the full path from setup to a working Python plus Olama script in just a few minutes. Thanks for watching this episode of Practical AI. If you found it useful, make sure to subscribe and follow along. A lot of interesting and easy mini projects are coming up next. Perfect for leveling up your skills step by step. See you in the next one.